Four to a 56 stack, pow. Watch the play action, let's go. Dick Butkus was both feared and revered by his peers. I call him a maniac, stone maniac. I, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand why they say things like that. He was the greatest intimidator ever played football. You had to overcome the mystique. It was almost like an odor. He exuded a kind of a presence. Roses are red and violets are blue. If you've got any sense, you'll keep Butkus away from you. He was an animal, and every time he hit you, he tried to put you in the cemetery. Not the hospital. I'm not sure. I think Butkus ate him. If you remember, Buckus grunted a lot and growled a lot when he was back up the line. And we sent this rookie center in to, to play for us. And the first time he came off, his eyes were about like this. He, he couldn't believe what he was hearing from Buckus. Buckus had him intimidated. He hadn't even blocked him yet. You play the Bears, and I've heard it myself from different people. It's like they better get ready, you know. And that's all the respect that I need. If I was an animal jerk ass or whatever, I didn't care. <laughs> He came to play, and uh, it probably made me a better football player by competing against him in practice because he was tough. About the only story that I can recall that, that, that really got my attention was that after a game, no matter what the weather conditions, he never took a bath. He never took a shower after the game. That he just went in front of his locker and would lie down and lick himself. Is that true? <laughs> 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 That's a great story. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's true or not. <laughs> That's a pretty good story. We'll let it, you know, let it, we'll leave it a uh, little question mark there. You can tell when a guy's going to be a great linebacker by his attitude. He's got it. You knew that Butkus had it right from the beginning. Butkus was tough. The name, the name that fits, it fits. You don't want to put a nice guy over there playing defense. You look for that attitude that, that the great ones have, and Butkus had it from the beginning. A knee injury shortened his brilliant career, yet he has a bronze bust in the Hall of Fame and remains the gold standard of linebackers. See that guy right there? Yeah. You know who that is, huh? What's that? Yeah. What's that? Dick Butkus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dick Butkus. He was bad, man. Yeah. He was nasty, boy. He was nasty. I stand before you with deep humility and pride. I'm proud of Chicago, and I'm proud to tell you that when I played for you, I gave it the very best I could.